the long wait might finally be over. Apple's M5 MacBook Pro is reportedly launching this month, and while it may not include the Macs or Ultra variants right away, this release is shaping up to be one of Apple's most strategically timed product drops in recent years. The M5 series represents a critical turning point in Apple's silicon roadmap, one that bridges the gap between the powerful M4 generation and the revolutionary M6 lineup expected to bring OLED MacBooks in 2026. Let's break down everything we know. The release date leaks, the reasons behind Apple's unusual timing, the production strategy, chip improvements, expected performance, and what this all means for Mac users looking to upgrade in late 2025. Apple's strategic curveball, the M5 without the Macs. For the first time since the M2 series, Apple is releasing its base-level MacBook Pro powered by the new M5 chip without its Pro or Mac siblings. That's a surprising move considering Apple's usual pattern of launching all variants together. But there's a method to the madness. Industry analyst Mark Gurman and several reliable supply chain reports have hinted that this staggered release is a calculated decision. Apple's currently facing supply constraints with the M4 MacBook Pro and M4 iPad Pro models, and many configurations have slipped into limited availability. Online delivery estimates for some versions now show expected arrivals between October 21st and October 28th, which isn't a coincidence. Historically, Apple has timed its product refreshes around this very period, right as its back-to-school promotions end and holiday season demand ramps up. It's the perfect window for a quiet but impactful product drop that keeps its lineup fresh without requiring a full-blown event. And that's exactly what seems to be happening here. All signs point to October 21st, 2025, as the week Apple announces or silently drops the M5 MacBook Pro, most likely via a press release on Apple Newsroom, similar to how it handled the M3 MacBook Pro and iMac refresh back in late 2023. The FCC leak that changed everything. Now, what really gives credibility to these rumors is a set of FCC filings that recently surfaced online. These filings which Apple typically keeps private until a product's release, accidentally went public earlier this week. Within them lies a reference to a mysterious MacBook Pro with a model identifier, A3434. Based on every clue and production timeline we've seen, that model number almost certainly belongs to the new 14-inch M5 MacBook Pro. Here's why this leak matters. An FCC filing isn't some early-stage rumor. It's one of the final steps before a product's official release. For any electronic device to be sold in the United States, it must receive regulatory approval. That means once Apple's MacBook Pro appears in FCC databases, mass production is either underway or already complete. In short, the M5 MacBook Pro is ready for launch. Why the delay for the Pro and Max chips? You might be wondering, why not release the M5 Pro and M5 five max versions at the same time. According to supply chain insiders, there's a deeper reason that goes beyond marketing or logistics. Apple is reportedly redesigning its high-end silicon architecture from the ground up. The M5 Pro and M5 Max chips are expected to feature a modular CPU and GPU design, where Apple can independently scale each component depending on the device's target audience. This modular approach would allow configurations like a high-core GPU paired with a standard CPU, or vice versa. Optimizing for specific workflows such as video editing, 3D rendering, or software development. This redesign requires new testing, validation, and engineering time, pushing their launch window into early 2026. The Base M5 chip, on the other hand, continues using Apple's traditional unified architecture which means it's faster and easier to finalize for production. So, rather than holding everything back, Apple decided to launch the M5 now and save the bigger, modular chip refresh for next year's M5 Pro and M5 Max MacBook Pros. A familiar strategy perfected. If this strategy sounds familiar, that's because it mirrors what Apple did with the M2 series. First, it launched the entry-level M2 chip in the MacBook Air and base MacBook Pro models. Months later, once yield stabilized, Apple followed up with the M2 Pro and M2 Max versions. 
This staggered rollout helps Apple maintain momentum across quarters, keeps investors happy, smooths out production bottlenecks, and ensures each chip variant gets its own spotlight. By staggering releases, Apple keeps Mac sales strong year-round, rather than dumping all upgrades in one quarter. It's a slow-burn strategy that extends media coverage and maintains user engagement, something Apple's marketing team excels at. Wi-Fi 7 or not yet? The connectivity question. The FCC documentation also gives us a glimpse into what's not changing, at least not yet. It references Wi-Fi 6E connectivity with no mention of Wi-Fi 7, which many users expected in the next-gen MacBook Pro. While this doesn't entirely rule out Wi-Fi 7 support, since sometimes the FCC only tests specific bands, it suggests Apple may reserve the Wi-Fi 7 rollout for the M5 Pro and M5 Max variants in 2026. That's a smart move if you think about it. Keeping something like Wi-Fi 7 exclusive to the higher-end models creates a clearer differentiation in performance tiers while giving customers another reason to upgrade later. What to expect from the M5 chip? Let's talk about performance. Based on early benchmark leaks from the M5 iPad Pro, the new chip delivers around 30 to 35% faster GPU performance compared to the M4. CPU gains are smaller, but still notable roughly 10 to 15% faster, depending on the workload. Apple's focus for this generation seems clear, GPU performance and AI acceleration. With Apple Intelligence expanding across macOS 15 Sequoia and upcoming iOS 19, these chips need to handle on-device AI tasks like natural language processing, real-time transcription, and generative image tools efficiently. Visually, don't expect the M5 MacBook Pro to look drastically different. Apple's likely reusing the same 14-inch chassis, mini-LED liquid retina XDR display, and MagSafe 3 design introduced with the M1 Pro generation. The port layout, keyboard, and touch bar-free aesthetic all remain intact. This update is about what's inside, not how it looks. Why is Apple taking so long to bring OLED to the MacBook Pro? Two words. Production efficiency. Apple wants to perfect its tandem OLED panels, a double stack design that dramatically improves brightness and longevity. It's more expensive to produce, but it ensures consistent quality over time. The Base M5 MacBook Pro 14 inch is expected to launch at $1,999, maintaining the same entry price as the M4 model. However, Apple may introduce a new mid-tier configuration with slightly more storage or GPU cores to incentivize upgrades. Meanwhile, once the M5 Pro and M5 Max arrive next year, expect prices to remain consistent with today's lineup, $2,499 to $3,499 US dollars, unless Apple introduces new display or storage options. This continuity helps keep Apple's product segmentation predictable, which is critical for its long-term sales strategy heading into 2026. Why Apple's staggered launch makes perfect sense. When you zoom out, Apple's broader Mac roadmap becomes clear. Instead of rushing to push out every chip variant simultaneously, Apple is now spreading its product cadence evenly across the calendar year. Q4 2025, M5 MacBook Pro launch. Q1 2026, M5 Pro, and M5 Max refresh. Late 2026 slash early 2027, M6 OLED redesign. This cadence ensures that Apple maintains visibility and relevance every quarter while balancing its supply chain and maximizing TSMC's 3 nanometers production output. It's not just smart, it's strategic mastery. Should you buy the M5 MacBook Pro? This is the question most buyers are asking. Is it worth it? If you're upgrading from an Intel MacBook Pro or even an M1 model, then absolutely yes. The jump in performance, battery life, thermal efficiency, and AI capabilities is huge. You'll notice faster app launches, better multitasking, smoother external display handling, and much cooler operation under load. However, if you're currently on an M2 or M3 MacBook Pro, the upgrade might not be worth it just yet, unless you specifically need the improved GPU and AI acceleration. 
The M5's biggest strengths lie in graphics performance and future compatibility with Apple Intelligence features, which will become a bigger part of Mac OS in 2026. Final thoughts. So, to sum it all up, the M5 MacBook Pro may not bring a massive external redesign, but make no mistake, it's a crucial step forward in Apple's long-term Mac strategy. It's the quiet before the OLED storm, a bridge between generations that refines performance, efficiency, and readiness for Apple's. Next leap in design. If you want the latest Apple Silicon unmatched battery life and the smoothest Mac OS experience yet, this launch is worth watching closely. But if you're waiting for the true game changer, the M6 MacBook Pro with OLED display, thinner chassis, and possibly the first real AI-optimized MacBook, you might want to hold your upgrade for another year. Either way, Apple's about to make headlines again, and the M5 MacBook Pro is just the beginning.